to WizKids, the exciting game show where knowledge is power and young minds shine. In this episode, the second episode of WizKids 2024, we have some of the brightest and sharpest minds from across Guyana to test their knowledge in core subject areas, namely English, science, social studies, and mathematics. But remember, we're not just testing their knowledge, we're also testing their speed. Let's go right into it and meet our contestants. Contestant number one, what's your name, school, and age? My name is Malia Morello, and, and I am 11 years old. I attend Patara Primary School. Awesome, welcome. Contestant number two? My name is Yusin Charles. I am 11 years old, and I attend Graham's Hall Primary School. Awesome. Contestant number three. My name is Rachel So I am 11 years old, and I attend Montrose Primary School. Awesome. All right, ready to start? Wait. Yes. All right, let's start with science, please. True or false? Sugar and water can be separated by evaporation. Contestant number three. Sugar and water can be separated by evaporation. That is true. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. English. Please. English. Choose the best word to complete the statement. Someone who uses his power to oppress others is called a something. Contestant number one. A therapist? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct response would have been a tyrant, dictator, or an autocratic leader, okay? Let's go to social studies, please. The people in Linden are engaged mainly in something. Contestant number three. The people in Linden are engaged mainly in bauxite mining. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Stay in social studies. From which South American neighbor does Guyana import machinery? Contestant number one. Brazil. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Um, English. What do you call a book that encourages us to use or buy a product? Go ahead, contestant number three. Um, you, call a, you call that book a catalog. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Mathematics. Mathematics. The operation that undoes division is? Contestant number one. Multiplication. Multiplication, that is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Language. Choose a word that is most similar in meaning to the underlined word. Miss Prasad said, draw a line beginning at the center of your page. Center. Contestant number two. Middle. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. English. English. Correct the following sentence. Neither him or her will come. Contestant number three. Neither him nor her will come. That is correct. <coughs> Go ahead and select your next category, please. Say in English. Choose the function of the underlined word in the sentence. The dog barks to keep strangers away. Barks. Contestant number three. Barks is a verb. That is correct. Remember, contestants, you need to wait until I'm finished reading the question, all right? Go ahead and select your next category, please. Signs. What is the area around the magnet in which a magnetic force can be felt? Contestant number three. The magnetic field. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category. English. What do you call a book that is similar to a dictionary but contains mostly synonyms? Contestant number one. A thesaurus. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Social studies. Social studies. Which group of European people built the European fort located in the Burberry's River? Contestant number three. The Dutch. That is correct, and that fort is called Fort Nassau. Nassau. Go ahead and select your next category, please. English. English. What do you call the part of a book that is a list and can be found at the front outlining what the book contains? Contestant number one. The content page. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Science. Science. The skin produces an oil called something. Contestant number three. 
The skin produces an oil called All right, I'm sorry. Unfortunately, your time is up. The correct answer would have been sebum. All right, let's go to mathematics, please. 82.17 meters expressed in centimeters is... Decimal number three. It would be 821.7. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It would be 8,217 cm. All right. Let's proceed to social studies, please. The group of persons selected by the executive president to manage the affairs of the entire country is known as the something. Contestant number one. The ministry. <laughs> uh, that was a really good try. However, the correct response would have been the cabinet. I knew it. All right. Contestant number two, you knew it. I knew it. All right. Let's proceed to science, please. How long does the moon take to orbit the Earth? That's number two. 29 and a quarter days. That is correct. Or a month. Yes. Go ahead and select the next category, please. Maths. What is the formula used to find half of the perimeter of a rectangle? That's number one. Addition. What is the formula? Oh, sorry. Length plus width. That is correct. Go ahead and select the next category, please. Social studies. Social studies. What is the name of the monument associated with slavery? Contestant number three. Um, the 1763 monument. That is correct. Go ahead and select the next category, please. English. Choose the best word to complete the sentence. The golden arrowhead must be something at six hours every day. Contestant number three. It must be flown at six hours. That is correct. Go ahead and select the next category, please. Science. The main function of the skull is to something. Contestant yes, number three. To protect the brain. That is correct. Go ahead and select the next category, please. Stay in science. Science. The second largest planet in our solar system is... Contestant number one. Jupiter. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. We asked for the second largest. It would have been Saturn. Let's proceed to mathematics, please. Identify the prime numbers between 1 and 15. Contestant number two. 2. 3, 5, 7, 11, 13. That is correct. Yes. Go ahead and select the next category, please. Max. There were 160 marbles in a jar. Jamie collected 128 marbles. The remainder was given to his sister, Indira. What was the ratio of distribution of marbles? Contestant number two. 32 to 160. Simplify it. Sixteen to eighty. I'm sorry, that was, that's was incorrect. The correct response would have been four to one or one to four. All right. Let's proceed to science, please. How many teeth does the average adult human have? Contestant number three. Thirty-two. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Stay in science. Which state of matter is compressible and takes the volume of the container? Contestant number three. Liquid. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct answer would have been... Gas. Yes. yes, gas, because we were asking about the volume of the container, okay? All right, let's proceed to social studies, please. Look right, look left, look right again. And if it is clear, go quickly across. This is a safety rule for the contestant number two. Pedestrians. That is correct. Go ahead and select the next category, please. Social studies. Which two weather patterns are associated with greenhouse gases? Contestant number one. Wind and water. All right. Unfortunately, that answer is incorrect. When we're talking about the specific weather patterns, 
wind and water are just elements. Okay, the correct response would have been El Nino or La Nina. Let's move on to social studies, please. Which ethnic group is associated with the names M.V. Whitby and M.V. Hesperus? Contestant number two. East Indians. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Max. What is the name given to the line that cuts a circle into two equal portions? Contestant number three. Diameter. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. English, please. What is the most suitable meaning of the proverb, a rolling stone gathers no moss? Contestant number three. Pe people who are frequently changing jobs gets forward to nothing in life. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Social studies. Which three South American countries do not have Spanish as their official language? Contestant number one. Guyana. Suriname and Brazil. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Source studies. Where do most Guyanese migrate to? Contestant number two. America. Which one of the Americas? North America. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. English. English. This is the last English question for this episode. What is the name given to the part of a book which contains an alphabetical list of words and meanings at the end? Contestant number three. A glossary. That is correct. You now have science and mathematics available. Go ahead and select your next category. Science. True or false, the moon shines brightly at night because it produces its own light. Contestant number two. False. The moon reflects light from the sun. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Science. This is the last science question. A flower with very light and smooth pollen grains is most likely pollinated by which mechanism? Contestant number two. Wind. That is correct. The last category, mathematics. So we're gonna go there. What is the value of the third digit in the number 44,444? That's number one. Hundreds. So we're asking for the value. Sorry. So the correct answer would have been 400. 400. The player's value would be hundreds. The value is 400. All right? All right. Let's proceed with the rest of the math questions. The unit for measuring mass is something. Contestant number one. Kg, kilograms. That is correct, or grams. Mathematics. What is the difference between an acute angle and a right angle? Contestant number two. An acute angle is an angle that is less than 90 degrees, whereas a right angle is an angle that is directly 90 degrees. That is correct. And the last question for this episode. What is 15% of 440? Contestant number two. 15% of 440. So unfortunately, time has run out. The correct response would have been 66. All right, contestants, based on the scores outlined, in first place for this episode, we have Rachel Saw. Congrats, Rachel. In second place, we have Usain Charles, and third place, Malia Morello. How are you guys feeling right now? Excited. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Guyana Learning Channel's Wiz Kids Show. Join us next time for more excitement, challenges, and friendly competition. I am your host, Ramona Luti, saying goodbye and see you next time. I feel, 
I feel satisfied with myself. I think I did really good. I think that they were really nice. A little bit, but at the same time, I was feeling excited. Well, I know that I will be the next, that I will be the WizKids champion for 2024.